Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's the infamous uh, Parrot Disco. Remember this guy? This is the 4G modded version. You may have seen a bunch of my videos on this guy. And also that guy over there in the background, that's the um, Night Fury. It's basically the Parrot Disco Chuck. And it is inside of the JXD525 glider. So that's also 4G modded. But today's all about installing this solar kit right here from solarrealdrone.com. You can actually get the kit already mounted on the wings. They'll send you the, the solar panels on the wings already. I went ahead and just had them send me the kit that I put on the wings myself. We're gonna go through this, put it on the Parrot Disco, see if it all works, and then do some 4G flights. Uh, in a coming video, possibly in this video, we'll see how long this takes to set it up. Uh, they sent me a solar kit as well for that uh, Night Fury JXD 525 glider. So that'll also be a fun project to put on there. Finally get getting around to this. Sorry guys, it's taking me so long to do this. Let's get into it. I got the instructions right here and we're gonna mount all this stuff up and see how it works. Right over here, I just kind of have my little side soldering station. So we have, of course, a soldering iron here, a tip cleaner as well. This is really good to have. I'll, don't forget, I'll have all this stuff linked in the description. If you're getting into RC, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of uh, soldering tools as well. Electronic solder here. We have a flux pen, snipper here. I got some more flux in a couple of different uh, form factors, some paste and then kind of a dipping cup here. And over here I have a lighter and some heat shrink for some of the wires I might be needing to connect together. The cost on this kit is about, I'll have the website up on the screen, it's about, I think that's about $80 USD, it's uh, 2300 uh, NT, that's the Taiwan dollar. If you wanted the solar pre-mounted on the wings, it's going to be about probably around $200, so you're getting the wings and the solar pre-mounted for that amount but um this is just going to be the uh kind of do-it-yourself kit now they sent me uh both setups in the bag so this right here is going to be for the disco itself so they've got kind of everything really separated i'm kind of doing this in the sun which probably isn't the best idea but you can see how they have uh both wings here separated there we go here's the two little solar setups and these guys have actually pre-done everything. Check this out. So it's all pre-soldered and they folded it up. So really all I need to do is carefully kind of unfold it. You see how all these little connections are already pre-done. So carefully just kind of unfolding this. So you see how that's working? There we go. So really carefully opening up. And that's how it's going to kind of be on the wing just all together like this. Already done all the pre-soldering these guys. They already put this mounting tape on here so all you need to do is peel this stuff off and mount it on the wing when you're ready and don't forget to really clean the wings too i went ahead and just sprayed some soap and water solution on here and just kind of wipe these wings down let them dry so there's no oil or dirt that won't allow these things to stick on it so there's the second solar panel array i should say and by the way guys this is about 25 30 watts of solar power so just be really careful because anytime you cross these connections you might sizzle one of them because um that's a pretty good amount of power if the sun's hitting it direct sunlight you don't want to short anything out basically these are the instructions if you were to solder the whole thing up yourself kind of really in depth and how to tape everything down and solder all the connections but of course i got the pre-soldered edition so i'd imagine you could get the set up that's not even soldered and it'd be even cheaper for you to show you how to do everything there's going to be the little patches that go on the ailerons too so you want that flexible wire so i'm going to be kind of skipping to this portion where they tell you to just check the voltage with a voltmeter and just make sure that um, you're getting an output when it's in some sun position these right i'm already getting 13.95 volts you see that guys on the screen 13.95 so that's great so we know that this thing is outputting great voltage here so now let's check the other side take a look at that voltage meter let's see what we got yeah a little bit more in the shade it's a little bit lower 13.48 but wow look at that just from this shaded panel over here let me turn this camera we're getting 13 point something volts even if 
this is most of this panel is already in the shade so great they're both looking good they're both working and pushing out a perfect amount of voltage and you can see how the outputs they've already soldered on here two JSTs so there's going to be a Y cable and that's going to go right into the balance port of our battery this thing will fly with one of these batteries for about I want to say 40 45 minutes so this will be a good test to see but all you're doing is plugging in the balance here and as you can see these two JST connectors are just basically you're bringing the ones from the solar and plug them right in here and this will be inside the fuselage so pretty simple real simple setup no voltage regulator on this because as you can see it's just about 13 14 volts which these can handle coming in the thing that you don't want to do is have your battery topped off and be letting it all connected and sitting there in the sun for a while because there's not going to be any regulation it's going to count on the plane drawing in flight so you might want to cover the solar panels maybe with some towels before you fly if you're going to be setting it up otherwise you might overcharge your batteries okay so i'm thinking before i take all this kind of scotch tape off I really want to position these and then use this double-sided sticky tape and stick them down. You can see here it's just a really great, really super low profile double-sided sticky tape they already pre-applied here. solar panel kind of comes over the body but just the very corner and that's going to be fine because we're we're still going to be able to remove these let's see real quick yeah so you see how that works you can remove your wing unplug your plugs whenever you want and then put your wing back on for transport and as long as that's just above it should be clear of that little gap awesome so number one solar panel is on what i might do is just go over everything where the runs of tape are and just kind of push these down again because you really don't want these flying off right when you're <laughs> flying in the sun and then of course just double check your ailerons all working perfectly they're probably never going to go up that high or down super low but you want to make sure they can do what they need to do when you're flying without breaking your solar connections right okay now we just need to do the exact same thing to the other wing here and mount this panel up before I mount this other solar on the wing guys I totally forgot I wanted to just weigh these guys so this should be the same weight on the other side so I want to take everything put it on here including this little added uh, wire here and there we go so you can see on the bottom there it is about 50 grams and we times that by two with this little Y adapter for plugging into our battery um, that's going to give us about 100 grams of weight give or take a few grams so that gives you a good idea of how much you're adding to your plane so 100 grams of weight hopefully the solar difference when you're flying in sun outweighs the added weight for more power usage Okay, that one went a little bit better. You can see over here I had kind of a overlap of that little bit of uh, wire there on top of the solar panel, so I had to unstick that. So you can, but just be really careful of bending these things up so you don't break the panel inside. But it looks pretty good. Aileron's still working with the solar panels on it. So let me take this tape off. What I am noticing, guys, on this masking tape as I'm taking it off, it's leaving a little bit of line residue. So what might be a good idea is just to take maybe a little bit of water or just a little bit of alcohol and rub it over really lightly over the panels and clean off all that sticky residue that's kind of, because it's going to be kind of blocking the solar panels. You don't want really any hindrance for that sun getting into the panels for the ultimate efficiency. Okay guys, now that everything is mounted up, let's check again our individual wing voltages just to be sure that we didn't break any connections. Sun is going down, so the voltage might be a little bit lower. Let's check it out here. There we go, 11.33 volts on the right wing. Okay, well, 
guess what? That's why we check these, right? I have no voltage coming out of the left wing coming out of the JST. So that's a problem. So I need to go and overlook all of the joints here. We should have something coming in. So I'm going to need to double check all these connections and see which one has the break. And the way you can kind of test um, an area like which panel array is having the problem is you just kind of check the output ports here, the tabs. And you can see how we have some output there. So this is reverse polarity. But if I switch the cables around here, you can see that we're getting even in the shade, the sun's going down, I'm getting like 3.4 volts. So we know that that's not a problem there. Then we move up to the next array output. And if we go on to the output on these two, you can see that me touching these, I'm getting nothing on the voltmeter. So I know that this panel is the problem and it's not allowing the voltage to flow through all the panels. Okay guys, so I think I found it. That little guy there just looks like it kind of separated, so I'm gonna to try to solder that together and see if that fixes our problem. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna take my flux pen here and just really carefully just kind of soak that with some soldering flux on all the edges here. Now I'm gonna to wanna to be really careful with this and not give it much heat. I want a high heat and really quick so I don't melt the plane or the panels, right? So just making sure our tip's really clean. A little dab of solder on the tip. And just getting it right in there real quick. Real quickly popping it in there and just rubbing it around a bit, making sure it sticks and then pushing them on top of each other and pushing that solder down. So hopefully that does it. Let's check it out. Awesome. So that's kind of how you troubleshoot and fix your little solar panel break. Of course, if it's something underneath, it's going to be a lot harder to fix. You're going to have to pull them off. But uh, I had a feeling that might be a weak point because that's kind of where it's flexing there right in that little seam for the aileron. So I'm definitely going to have to check all these once in a while to make sure they're all working okay nice so remember when this has full sun it should be up in around the 14 volt spectrum so we'll have a great uh, maybe even higher maybe 14 16 volts coming in um, so expect this to be much higher when the sun's hitting it and you're flying on a sunny day and that's what this is going to be made for it is sunset now there's just a tiny bit of voltage coming on the panels and that's all we need to do the last step would just be taking some tape and taping over the top edge here just to make sure we don't have this edge coming up we really don't want this because that's a lot of wind resistance the tape is kind of letting up a little bit on that edge so we want to make sure we press that down and then just take a uh, I'm gonna do like a single piece now, of course anything you put over these panels is going to lessen that solar input right so that's why I'm choosing this really kind of crystal clear uh, packing tape so maybe there's some other tape out there I could use that would really get this down because this packing tape honestly isn't really sticking uh, very good to the edge but you get the idea you just want to tape something down so these edges aren't flicking up it even might be a good idea just to tape down these edges as well even though they're back a little bit just so that wind resistance doesn't have that edge to hit. Put our cover back on and there we go guys. So you see how we're gonna have a little bit of wire coming in here, but even just putting a little bit of tape down in these wires would uh, prevent that little bit of resistance as well. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up. I hope that was informative to you on how to put this solar kit on, where to get it from. Uh, we had a little bit of uh, problems on the way. Kind of had a little soldering joint we had to solder and we kind of worked through that. Uh, all went pretty well, pretty simple. Again, you can buy these wings already with the solar panels pre-mounted, so you don't even have to do any of this stuff. You just put them on your plane and plug these plugs in, and you should be ready to go. The next thing we need to do is take this thing up in the air and fly it, and that's going to be the next video in this series of solar for the Parrot Disco, so don't forget to check that series out. When it's up there, I'll go ahead and have the card pop up for the entire series, and also it'll be down in the description of where you can find that next video, as well as the products I review here. Also coming up, don't forget, back there in the background, let's not forget our Night Fury out there. He is going to be getting that solar kit as well, so let's not forget about him. He'll also be in a few videos coming up, 
So make sure you subscribe and so you don't miss them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.